You had to watch Antonio as he was drawing. He was breathing like he was pulling the magic right out of the atmosphere. And it was coming out through his fingers on the drawing pad. And then he'd look at you and take you in. And then, oh, you couldn't wait for him to look at you again. But you know he's holding his breath till he gets that stroke down his leg. But Antonio, when he's drawing, always had an audience around him. He fed on it. He was so far ahead of his time. He was in another century. It was just beyond belief what he created. Antonio's aesthetic is beyond, it's like fantastic. So in his field, he's a giant. Until he came along, a fashion drawing was just like, like a very stiff couture model. Antonio put them in a fantasy. He brought this whole new style to fashion. I think everybody at that time got swept up into Antonio's world. There was something magical about it. He was this magician in the center of fashion. Everything was fluid, the way he moved. Everything was movement, everything was music, everything was dancing. He was an incredible flirt. He was so good at it. And he flirted with everybody. Nobody was spared. He was the kind of person that was non-discriminating about who you were, the kind of person you were. He was extremely seductive, extremely romantic. If you were in his crosshairs, you were the target of his attention and therefore helpless.